In this tutorial covers the general features of Ready Replace and how to use the program. With this program you can find and replace any string in files or in file names. This is the user interface of Ready Replace. On the left hand side you define what you are looking for and what you want to replace it with. You can define any number of replacements that will be subsequently processed. On the right hand side you define the files that you want to do the replacements in or that you want to rename. Down here you can save your queries and load them if you want to use them more than once. And over here is the actual replace button which executes the tasks. Alright, now let's get started. Define the files and folders you want to process by either drag and dropping them into the program like that or by copy and pasting them. You can select all files from the list by pressing Ctrl A and delete them with the delete or the backspace button. So the other way to put the files into the program is by copying them with Ctrl C in order to put them into the Windows clipboard and paste them with Ctrl V into the program. Alright, the files are defined. Now we have to tell the program whether we want to replace in the file names, that means to rename the files, or if you want to replace inside the files, that means in the file contents. If we choose to replace in the file names, the preview of the file name is displayed here. If you go for file contents, the number of replacements per file is denoted. Alright, but let's replace in file names, so that we can directly see the result. Let's replace the PHP extension to a TXT extension, for example. Just double click here and write .php to be replaced with .txt and then you can edit or if you want to undo the step you just hit swap and these text fields are swapped. So add this replacement. You see here the number of pending replacements 000 and only for the PHP files one replacement is to be done. Only the PHP files will be changed to TXT files. Let's replace that. And if you take a look in our folder, the files are now .txt files. Ok, that was a very simple example, but with Ready Replace you have a wealth of possibilities. Double click in the replacement field and right click in the text field to see all possibilities. You have wildcards, special ASCII characters, replacements concerning the file name, file size and stuff like that. Replacements concerning file date, modification date, creation date, last access date, you can use the current date or time, you can insert a counter, you have possibilities for replacements concerning the file content or the Windows clipboard text for example, you can access all the JPEG EXIF data like the camera model, camera make, shutter speed and so on. And then you have also all system variables. So returning to our example, you could go ahead and replace the file extensions of all files that you put in and replace them all with for example .txt. Alright, let's update that and you see all the extensions would be changed to txt. But be careful, because the undo will not be able to change it back. If you right click here and select swap all, which is a pseudo undo. Now in the replacement list it says replace .txt with a file extension, which is incidentally of course .txt already. So be careful what you do and replace, because it might not be undoable anymore. Ready Replace is available in two languages right now, in English and German. Just click here for an immediate translation. Ok, so that were the most important steps in using the program and of course if you have questions, concerns or requests please write me an email. And thank you for watching this video.